Do you think if I had the strength right now to walk across this room, I wouldn't do so? Do you think I don't choke on every piece of food at his idea? Brother! Now, how am I supposed to get well eating the food of a man I despise? Brother! I despise him! I never would have come here if I'd known he was going to be here, and I would have gotten sick and been at his mercy. I despise him! <laughs> it's huge. It's uh, nine plays, nine full-length plays that Horton wrote, uh, mostly in the 70s, following uh, the story of his father. But uh, nine full-length plays altogether is, <laughs> I think, more than it's fair to ask anyone to come see. A couple of years ago, Hartford Stage, uh, upon, shortly upon the success of Dividing the Estate, commissioned Horton Foote to take his nine full-length plays and telescope them into three three-hour evenings. So what you have now is a nine-hour orphan's home cycle. It's in three parts. There's part one, which is story of childhood, and part two, which is story of a marriage, and part three, story of a family. It traces my grandfather, basically. It's been fictionalized, but um, it begins with the death of my grandfather's father and ends with the death of my grandmother's father. You start seeing him as a, a kid of 12 when his father dies and uh, his mother remarries and uh, effectively leaves him behind when she moves to Houston with her new husband. Um, and so he spends some years, he quits school, spends some years working at, at a convict plantation a uh, bit outside the town where he works and um, begins to make his way in the world somewhat on his own and uh, kind of struggling to find a home. And during the middle of all of that, of course, the Great uh, First War happens, the World War I, and the flu epidemic of 1918 also hits. Uh, so during the course of these 30 years, with 22 actors playing 70 characters, uh, Horton Foote covers a lot of ground of American history. People who come to see it think uh, like they recognize portions of their family. I, I've never been a part of something where, across the board, people who come to see it sort of say that. Horton captures human beings um, that seem to be very ordinary, but he shows how strong we, as uh, seemingly ordinary people, can be when we face extraordinary circumstances. You can have a hero that's not a hero. You can have um, a story about love that talks about hate. You can, t you know, have a story about death that, where you see life exhibited like you've never seen life exhibited before. I love uh, that it's sort of quietly subversive. If you're paying attention, it is radical. He confronts um, these things that happen to all of us and human behavior that we all have and uh, in a very quiet uh, way. It's been a lot to, to it's been a lot to, to chew on, but the support of Michael and Hallie and uh, Hartford Stage and now Signature and uh, such a beautiful and able cast is has made it easier than it might sound. My dad, I think of my dad a lot when I see them, and I think he, I, I, the only thing I'm sad about is, is that he didn't get to see them on the stage and see what Michael Wilson's done with them. Um, see the collaboration between Hartford Stage and Signature Theater sort of come to life uh, in these plays, through these plays, I should say. And um, I think he just would be thrilled. <laughs>